Canada stands with Israel. Let me say, Canada is a strong ally and close friend of the Jewish state. When Canada works to counter extremism and terrorism, particularly in the Middle East, Israel is always a natural partner and a close ally. Canada stands shoulder to shoulder with Israel. We have an unwavering, ironclad commitment to the security of Israel. Thank you. This is a great friendship uh, between Israel and Canada. It's one that is based on similar size. <laughs> Similar rainfall? No, it's based on similar values uh, and our commitment to uh, democracy and freedom and liberty uh, and the rule of law and all the good things that I think characterize our two countries and a, a deep personal friendship too because uh, so many there are, I think about 35,000 uh, Canadians in Israel and every year 100,000 Israelis go to Canada and we know our friends. Uh, we consider you great friends. We uh, appreciate your support in the various international forums. The fact that you do not, uh, you have said you will not establish international relations with Iran, which ought to be uh, self-evident for a country that openly calls for the destruction of the one and only Jewish state, but you have acted on it, and we appreciate that. Equally, we appreciate the, uh, your commitment to take the white helmets, because I think that's a humanitarian action of the first, uh, the first order, uh, something that we have, uh, are doing jointly, and uh, I think it's an example of uh, the kind of responsible intervention that uh, uh, characterizes Canada and Israel. Uh, equally, we have a lot of projects that we want to move forward. We just talked on the way here. We already resolved that. You see, in a very short corridor walk, we decided that we'll speed up the ratification of our updated free trade agreement, which is uh, uh, something that will benefit both uh, Israel and Canada. Israel is, uh, is an innovation nation. Canada is one of the great economies in the world. It's got innovators. It's got markets. It's got connections to other countries, too. Some big countries. Some big countries. And we are... <laughs> Some big countries, and we are, and we are eager to uh, pursue that cooperation, both on technology uh, and in trade, and equally in aerospace and in cybersecurity and every field that is not open to us because of the remarkable transformation of the global economy. Uh, because, as I always say, it's this meeting ground of big data, artificial intelligence, and connectivity. People here must be tired of hearing me say this, but this creates extraordinary new industries. Uh, Israel is there on the on the cutting edge. Uh, Canada is there, and we can do a lot better together for both our peoples and for many peoples around the world. And I'd like to talk to you also about cooperation in third countries, uh, where we're doing, we're doing this already with a number of Western countries in Africa, and we can expand these programs. I think this is uh, something that also has very uh, salutary uh, uh, benefits for uh, our foreign policies and for the spreading good. So for all these reasons, I, I welcome you to Israel, um, and there'll be, uh, I'm sure, many more visits. And uh, uh, welcome, welcome to Jerusalem. I'd like to start uh, by pausing and paying tribute to the victims of a horrific anti-Semitic crime uh, close to our border. Uh, what happened this past Shabbat in a synagogue in Pittsburgh is a reminder to all of us that our shared objectives, peace, security, and acceptance, are fragile, and that we must continue to work together to combat hate and prejudice and anti-Semitism. That's something we take very seriously in Canada and are very concerned about in the world today. Uh, this terrible tragedy only strengthens the shared commitment of Canada and Israel to work together to strengthen our ties uh, and to fight anti-Semitism together. Au nom de la délégation canadienne et du gouvernement du Canada, je vous prie de accepter nos plus sincères remerciements pour l'accueil chaleureux que, nous avez, uh, que vous nous avez réservé. Uh, and let me also offer my condolences on the death yesterday of Minister David Azoulay. Um I'm really looking forward to... Merci. Pas uh, I'm really looking forward to sitting down and having a meeting with Prime Minister Netanyahu, and it's an opportunity for Canada to underscore that we do stand shoulder to shoulder with Israel. We have an unwavering, ironclad commitment to the security of Israel. We support Israel's right to live in peace, and we are committed to a comprehensive, just, and lasting peace in the Middle East. Canada is proud of our strong partnership with Israel, a partnership that has advanced the shared values and interests of our two democracies for 70 years, and that is a partnership I'd like to emphasize, which has endured irrespective of which Canadian political party is in government. Our ties are marked by close political, economic, social, and cultural connections. Today, there are more than 350,000 Jews living in Canada, and we're proud to say this is the fourth largest Jewish community in the world, and that is a vital bridge between our two countries. Uh, in fact, when we were touring the old city this morning, uh, quite coincidentally, we came across a group of Canadian visitors, and they were even from my city of Toronto. So those, the human connections are incredibly strong, and I want to emphasize, as a member of Parliament for University Rosedale in Toronto, uh, which is the home to many of Canada's fantastic Jewish Canadians, how proud we are of our Jewish Canadian community. 
uh, Canada and Israel are partners in public safety and defense, innovation and education, international development, trade and investment, and is a partnership which is enormously and mutually beneficial both to Canada and to Israel. As the Prime Minister has already said, one example is the recently modernized Canada-Israel Free Trade Agreement, which is a real opportunity for us to bring our countries closer together economically. Uh, and I do also want to thank the Prime Minister for his personal involvement and Israel's exceptional work in rescuing the White Helmets. Uh, that is something that Canada was proud to be a part of too. And it was a real example of working together to save the lives of some very brave people. We fully understand the challenges facing Israel today, including the threat of terrorism, and we are committed to working together in the interests of peace and security in the region. Prime Minister, please allow me to take this opportunity to thank Israel for your friendship with Canada and for your warm welcome during this visit. We appreciate